So I was asked this question, what about if you're at work uh, and um, you have to think, you know, to sort of do things? The way I do that, the way I would answer that question is uh, you, every time you think you have to think um, at work, I return to the individual identity because the um, uh, that's that's okay. That's a stage of development where um, one hasn't handed over to the infinite certain tasks. So it feels there's not yet been the handover. And so there needs to be um, some pra some practice of uh, and some faith in inquiring and then eventually allowing the infinite to speak and handle situations which it seems the infinite can't handle. And so therefore one has to reawaken the identified personality to handle the situation. That is normal because that's the switchover process. Normally when one has, usually in the ego, the ego has been handling all problems from the level of thinking. Like I need to think about this and and I need to speak from my thinking and this is a complicated problem. I need to think about it and answer it from the level of my thinking mind. And that that that's uh, that's the initial stage. And then your self-inquiry. Uh, so you, and then uh, eventually you try and sometimes you try and self-inquire at the time that you think you need to think. And what's happening there is like, okay, someone's given a complicated problem. And then the temptation is like, uh, let me think about it from my individual mind, from the separated mind or the ego mind. And then um, what I would say is um, if there's a potential, just inquire, just say, just self-inquire. I mean, who thinks they need to answer it from the individual mind and see if one can get to the infinite? Whether And then, and then, um, uh, and then eventually what will happen is that one will find that words and orchestration can happen to handle complex situations from the level of the infinite. So how does that happen? Let me try and explain that more clearly. So it's like seemingly there's a problem, but you're not identified with the limited mind. And yet, so the 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 resolution of the problem happens from no mind. So it's like words come out of the mouth, but the individual thinking mind didn't wasn't utilized for those words. So the words came out of nothing and the solution came out of nothing. Um, and, um, and the whole process occurs without the thinking mind being utilized or identified with. So it's a process, just like a baby shifts from being an e. Well, in this case, you're shifting from being an ego mind to just letting the infinite mind, the infinite nothingness speak and handle and orchestrate events. Now, just to share my own experience, usually there is a phase of clumsiness in this. So you might, but um, so how's the way to get out of clumsiness and not getting fired at work? Well, the way to not get, you know, like uh, uh, get fired at work is to try it out in in less threatening situations, like with friends with family, instead of allowing the temptation of answering from the individual mind, just keep inquiring until one is in the infinite mind or the observer, and then trust that whatever the observer says or does or handles the situation, it, uh, just trust in that. And eventually you'll find that the observer or the infinite mind without using the separated mind, the ego mind or the thinking mind, eventually becomes um, competent in handling conversations and situations. So once you can handle, um, you're able to handle family members and um, friends from the infinite mind and complicated questions and dialogues without uh, without utilizing the, um, the ego mind, then you can handle uh, start handling situations at work. And you'll find that um, that capacity to trust the infinite to handle situations um, uh, will start to develop. Um, and so when that happens, even though there can be a phase of calmness, I must admit, like remember, you know, like sometimes I can forget names, forget what was said a while ago, not really interested because I'm not interested in what happened a moment ago. 
but eventually it does become it becomes okay and actually um you're getting the ego mind tends to be very sort of data focused and the infinite mind tends to be more globally focused and intuitive and more omniscient uh, comes up with more creative solutions and more powerful solutions and also the level of love uh, um, non-local non-personal love tends to also um, add another dynamic to interactions so it tends to pacify um, people in the ego and tends to um, uh, quieten things down so there's many benefits to doing that but it does take a bit of practice but I actually um, my experience is that as you go more and more to being in the infinite in the observer in the witnesser and uh, and just uh, have the idea I mean my thing is like um, uh, Hawkins uh, described eloquently if you try and handle problems from the level of the ego um, it's, it's just a lower level of consciousness and so um, the solutions come from a lower level and the more the lower the level, it's less likely the miraculous is going to happen. It's going to be more from a lower level. So you just allow the miraculous to happen. Um, sometimes, though, there can be fear in operating, like maybe I'll get fired. But sometimes, you know, you, you don't know. Maybe um, in the infinite um, a, a job, you are fired, but something better comes along, more aligned with the infinite. So it's hard to say. Uh, but fear does come up. Um, but I would uh, that's the way I would do it. Um, but um, there are certain there are certain things as you get into higher levels of consciousness, certain jobs and careers don't really appeal, and certain situations don't really appeal. Uh, and that's just part of uh, the resonance of being at higher levels of consciousness. And there's fears of letting go of people, places, and situations at lower levels of consciousness, which seem to bring comfort. Um, but um, but it can be handled. You can transcend, uh, just working on transcending and being an observer. Eventually, you'll be delighted to find that um, the witnesser and the infinite is able to speak and handle situations, sometimes very miraculously, uh, without employing the ego mind to be thinking and then trying to come up with a solution from the level of the ego. Um, now, I'm sure that that's just a reminder but uh, that's just the experience of um, the clumsiness and just practicing in easier situations and then being able to be in the infinite and in more complicated, more seemingly difficult situations where money and uh, employment are at stake.